Okay, guys, David Gate 2 here. We are back building the German pre dreadnought. Just start my timer back up here once again. Alright, so let's see here. Ship's coming along pretty good, I think, though. Should be able to do us a quick float test here in a moment. Let down in the comments. I'd, I'd be curious to hear what your all's um, process is like when you're building stuff. If there's like certain things that you save for certain times, things like that. said so normally when I do these um, I will design the main guns first and then just kind of build the ship around them uh, so far it seemed like it's done well for me um, get some pretty good deck out of the stuff I make and in the end that's kind of what from the depths is about right Daka. Actually, I would argue that from the depths, the whole idea behind it is taking a crazy idea and see if you can make it work. And not only make it work, but work well enough to be duplicated and repeatable. Okay, we will put these right here. And we'll try doing the fill command again. Okay, that's better than last time. Let's see here, how do I want to do this back end? Okay, let's see here. Oops, wrong way. Uh, dude, goes over here. Okay, now we just need to repeat that down here. Stern is very close to getting done here. so I could just get an idea of where the turrets, um, or where the turret was going to be sitting at. You know, I think I will just bring this down to the bottom here of the hull, just so that's secure. So we need to go make some big crazy changes later on. Okay. Now then let's do this. And this, and this, and this. Oh, putting a rudder on this is going to be. F yeah. Uh, let's see here. I also imagine this thing is going to need a little bit of roll stabilization. Okay, let's see. Air. And we want. I 
think I want these to have some armor around them. I'm gonna wrap the one in front too, like this. I might just go ahead and do it while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and take care of that right now. I can rip that out, and that out, and that out, and yeah, that's kind of a problem. We still need to install some torpedoes for this big honk of mess in my ship. It looks like I forgot a bit of armor in here. For these local weapon the controllers. That'll work. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and. this around it. I think this is going to be a pretty tough ship when we get done with it. Well, length of 137, that's actually not too horrible. Actually, I could probably do something like this to try to reduce the block count. Probably should have done that on the other end, but that's okay. Uh -huh. There we go. It's going to be a wonder bar. I think I need to put one of these here. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be the same either way. Okay. I think I'm going to rip out that. Do that.
I think I can work with that. Okay, let's put in the deck plating back here. Uh, the drive shaft for the steam engine that's going to be powering this beast is going to run directly underneath the rear main gun turret back here. I think is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. Once I get this this alloy plating in, we will look at adding the steam engine. Probably gonna go with a large one. And I'm still gonna need to do some armoring up, but uh, I'll do that bit off camera because I hope you guys see me. If you've been following me for a while now, you see me armor up stuff before. You kind of got the gist of how that works, I think. Works. Sort of. That's awesome. It's coming together very, very well, I think. Okay, we still gotta fill in this back area over here. Like so. Yeah, five meter props probably might be the way to go on this. I don't know. Just have to wait and see. But I'm sure that's how we are going to do this nonsense. We just... Okay, it's all good. Uh, let's see about putting in that steam engine real quick. <sighs> let's see. I think we're going to start off with a prop back here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do fives for this crap, honestly. Because, damn. Yeah, they'd have to go through this bit here. I think I can still make it work, though. Yeah. But these probably need to come a bit closer to the hole. Or the back of the hole, like so. Let's do a large shaft bearing for this. No, I want it like so. That'll do. So we'll pop that guy off, and what do we do now here? Steam engines. We need the sealed shaft for this part. Okay. Do just want to have a quick look. See if yeah, it looks like that turret should probably clear it. Uh, let's put in some transmissions for this. Transmissions are great. They can make your engines run a lot more efficiently. Okay, let's put in a shaft there. Wait, did I, I think I grabbed the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I think you go like 
Nope. Not quite. Not quite. Just like that. Come on. I think that's what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, let's go into steam engines. And we need pistons. We're gonna go with the serial pistons. But we probably need to put these cranks in first. One, two, nope, that's the wrong way. One, two, three, four. Then we need to get the gearbox on the end, and these will be good to go. Uh, let's see, I want... We're just going to start with small boilers, and then we'll work our way up. But that'll have to... we'll come back to this at another point. There's still a lot more infrastructure this thing needs before we start messing around with this kind of stuff, but I will put in a bit of a partition wall here. And we are going to put some armor around this, just like a single layer of metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some crazy armoring up on this because one shell through here in yeah, just all fuck is gonna break loose on that. If that should ever come under attack. We'll figure it out though. Don't you worry none. Alright. So this little bit here, we're going to have to put on some alloy. Mm -hmm. We still need to figure out how we're going to put all the local weapon controllers in for our this crap back here, but the stern seems to be but complete. We might have, I think we're going to have a few issues with the um, pitch, because I the props are so far down, they are not at all going to be in line with the center of mass. Okay. So, there we go.
that is looking good. And this is doing all right there, doing all right there. And we'll put in our all in one local weapon controllers here and here. good. I think I want to thicken up. Mm. Yeah, we can do like one of these. Here. Okay, so next what I want to do, I need to start armoring up the insides, but uh, we're going to pause the recording and take care of that off camera. Let me just see how much time I got left on my timer. About 15 minutes. Okay. Well, we're gonna pause the recording here and uh, we'll be right back once I got the armoring done. All right, I think I got the armoring done here. Um, these, this outside bit, it's gonna be four layers of beam and then just like these um, slopes. And that's going to be the main belt armor. Uh, I extended that all the way to where the edge of the, the uh, barbettes for the turrets were on the front and back. The decking right here, it's uh, reinforced decking with a layer of alloy underneath it. That's usually what I do for heavier ships such as this. Uh, so, yeah. She's looking pretty good. I still need to do a little bit of decorative work back in here to hide a few things. No, nothing too bad though. Uh, the superstructure has a bit of a start to it already. So I'm wondering if it might be worth raising all this up at least one more meter, but we'll, we'll come back to that at a later time. I don't want to redo that part again. So yeah, I think we are about ready to do a float test just to see how well she or how seaworthy she is. So let's go ahead and put in some pumps. This is just to determine um, her floatability and see if there's any words that I'm going to need to come back and try to lighten things up. Uh, I am worried about the back end being a little heavy, though center of mass doesn't seem like it's too horrible, so, yeah. We'll just have to play it by ear, I suppose. Uh, I might need another bulkhead here. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I think we'll put in a bunch of bulkheads in the bow and stern. Uh, I probably need one here, too. But I've done a lot of work off camera to try to get that all ready. And I think this might be a good place to go ahead and put in our AI. And I think it's going to need at least three different AIs. I usually like to do one for the mains and the secondaries and then the um, anti-aircraft weapons. I usually like to have those all on separate AIs. Oh wait, I wanted to come up just a little bit higher with that. I try to make these kind of spacious so I can expand the uh, processing cards for the detection systems if need be. Uh, sometimes that's also a pretty decent place to hide the uh, shell customization stuff into one of these if you have the room. And we're just going to cap this bit off here and this bit off here. Let's go ahead and shove our AI in here. And I'll need two of these. And we'll fill the rest in with those. 
make sure the mirror lanes turn off. Put that there, and we'll put wireless snooper there. And we want what else? We want circling. Actually, target prioritization and endpoint selection will be important here. And let's see, plug and play. We want circling ship AI. Good. And we're gonna drop the mirror line here. Bring that up. Bring this over. Oops. Yeah, I didn't like how that turned out. Okay. This is just to seal the bottom bit. Uh, back here is probably where we're going to eventually put our ammo storage. But yeah, I think we are ready to see if this will float. This is always kind of a tense moment for me, so... Oh yeah, that, that rear end is sinking kind of heavily. But I think it, I'm okay with it being a little low in the water. Let's... I might have to do a bit of PID stabilization. I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. We still need to put the rest of her superstructure on there. Uh, trying to think here if there's anywhere else I could put some air pumps to try to get a bit more buoyancy squeezed out of this. I think this is potentially a good spot. Pump is leaking. Where are you leaking then? No. I don't know where the hell this is leaking. I may have to come back to that and see what's going on with it. The float test is just to help me determine if it's, uh, if it's going to float, of course. I'm not entirely sure why we have a leak. Because this looks all sealed up to me. Let's try raising it up out of the water. Because it just doesn't make any sense, because this looks like it's all sealed from what I can tell. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand this. this can help me kind of localize it a little bit better. I think that's why the back end is sinking so much. I look like it helped a bit. 
Yeah. That looks better. Now this one says it's leaking, so it's going to be somewhere back here. The leak, anyway. I wonder. Did that do it? No. Okay. Did that do it? Still no. Oops. Did that do it? So we know that isn't where it's leaking. Seriously, where the hell is this leak at? Because I cannot see this for the life of me. I don't know, guys. Let's try this. We're going to save it. And we're just going to restart the designer. I think it's bugging out. She float a bit better, but oh shoot. I was thinking surprisingly cheap. Probably about as good as we're gonna get, I think, for right now. I'm I'm gonna try looking for that problem off camera. I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on with it. I'd probably just drive myself tr crazy trying to look for it right now. Emma doesn't like crazy if he can help it. Oh right, right, right. We need materials for this thing to eat. Uh, I think I want to put. Material storage. Where do I want to put it? Probably right about here for now at work. should get the steam engine going. We don't need a whole lot of power. Okay, let's see how fast you'll go. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, we're going to disable movement, because I think the AI is fighting with me trying to control her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's getting up to 11 meters a second. I think we could do a little bit better. 12. meters a second? No, that seems a bit too slow. 
let's try this and see what we can get her up to. I'd like it to do at least 15, I think. But I think I'm going to try replacing a lot of this armor here in the back with alloy. See if I can lighten that back then up, up a bit. Um, I'm still going to try seeing if I can't find out where that leak is coming from. Because that's going to just drive me crazy otherwise. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh yeah, that's, that's good speed. For something this size, I think. Alright, well, I think that will be a good stopping point right there. Um, so, with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you've seen here today, please let me know with a like, comment, or even better, a subscription. Have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your armor high. Later, guys.